Hello folks, today we're going to show you the Chalet out of Albany, Oregon. Uh, that is where they're manufactured. We're actually in southern Alabama on the Gulf Coast and we've just recently become a dealer of these chalets. In fact, we're the only dealer east of Denver, Colorado. We also service them and do warranty work. Uh, a few things I want to point out about this uh, Arrowhead model here. Number one would just be the obvious suspension lift uh, for folks who like to get off-road and maybe get out and do some dry camping. You can see here that the axle has been put underneath the leaf springs as opposed to on top, which gives us that four inches of lift. It gives us a lot of clearance underneath the RV for brush and stumps and rocks and things of, of that nature. Now, a lot of people look at this and they may be intimidated thinking, oh, look at all the moving parts. Well, one of the great things about it uh, that may be better than an R-Pod is your aerodynamics. Since this folds down, you're going to get better gas mileage with your vehicle because you don't have as much wind resistance. Uh, pushing that R pod down the road. So what we're going to do is walk around and talk about the components quickly on the outside and then I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to put this thing up. You can be camping within one minute. As we move to the front here, upon delivery and receiving this unit you would have two 20 pound LP cylinders and a 12 volt battery. We have these watertight storage compartments. Come on over and look at how big these are. Very spacious for your gear and you have the watertight seal that will prevent any water from getting in there. This is a 30 amp coach and it does come with all the amenities. Stove, sink, refrigerator, air conditioning, furnace, etc. Moving around to this side, we do have a watertight marine plug. So you don't have to worry about any water getting into your electric. And we are ZAMP solar ready. So you can add solar panels to this if you're going to do primitive or dry camping. You simply plug it in here. It's already pre-wired from the manufacturer. No extra labor or parts involved. Typical refrigerator service panels. This model offers an exterior shower. And it actually has hot and cold water available. So if you have pets or an ATV, or maybe you've got sand on your feet because you're at the beach, you can clean it off outside. Of course, we have our furnace here. Uh, our water fills full-size 10 gallon water heater which uh, you know a lot of people have a six gallon you can't take a very long shower this will give two people comfortable showers one right after the other also notice the aggressive tires when we're talking about going off-road maybe getting off the beaten path it's gonna help for puncture very sleek design all LED every light on this RV is LED it's just gonna keep down on amperage and save your battery We've also got a small amount of storage here in the rear that can be accessed. Another area to put some gear. Alright, moving on, let's talk about getting this thing ready to go. You know, we've gotten to where we'd like to camp and we're going to pop this thing up. Again, it's not intimidating as all at all. I've unsnapped the other side, but you simply have two clamps, one on either side. You're going to release them. Take note of these straps that you see here. These are patented wind straps. And I'll explain a little bit later what those do and how they benefit you when you're setting this thing up. Now what they've done at, at Chalet is they've given you a spring assist here so that the top is simple to lift instead of having to fight it up or push separate pieces. I simply grab one handle. And with ease, Boom, my A-frame has popped up. So if you're watching the timer on your screen, you'll notice how quickly that this RV can be deployed. I'm going to lift this wall first. And inside here, Justin, if you come across, you have two handles, which you'll notice on the other side when I lift it. There'll be two handles on either side, and all we do is simply lock these into the brackets, and I'll have two on this side as well when I lift it. Basic, we're set up. All we need to do now is pop up our table, lift up our sink faucet, 
go outside, hook up our water and electric, and we're literally ready to camp. It's that simple, folks. I want to bring something to your attention. You know, Chalet's asking us to charge you $25,556 for this RV. Here's our price right here. So do you have the 454 in it? Considerably less. No money down. You can get a great uh, payment plan on this with zero money down. Another great feature of this RV is the weight. You can tow this with small vehicles because it's under 3,000 pounds. So if you have an SUV or a car with a tow rating of around 2,800 pounds, you can tow this RV behind it. Right, I'm going to go inside. And go. All right, now as we enter the Arrowhead model, you'll notice the refrigerator here directly inside the door. We've got a nice stereo system, DVD player, CD, all the amenities, Bluetooth, USB. I've got my furnace located here, an onboard water pump. For primitive camping, you can carry potable water with you. Hot and cold kitchen sink. We've got a gas cooktop. We have the dinette with the pop-up table. And a huge wraparound U-shaped seating area that also turns into a bed. So this is, would be your sleeping quarters here. All right, so we're finished camping. A couple basic things that we need to do to tear this thing down. It's very quick as well. Uh, number one, I'm gonna fold down my faucet. I'm gonna make sure my table and dinette are down. I don't want the table in the up position. My cushions are down. I'm gonna release my handles that we saw earlier. turn these parallel with the wall and I'm simply going to drop this wall down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. straps I mentioned earlier, if you'll notice, you get in a windy condition where it's going to try to pull this thing back and forth, these straps are going to keep that A-frame tight so you don't have any water leakage or separation during windy conditions. So to drop this down, I'm simply going to grab that same handle, push it down, and restore my latches. Again, there's another one on the other side, and this is going to give me a watertight rubber seal all the way around. Pull up my stabilizer jacks, and I'm ready to go.